Okay, where's my switch? Where's your switch? Oh my goodness, didn't you hear? Oh my god, there was this horrible accident on the highway. You do not know what happened. You do not hear. On the news, there was a semi-truck. It was going down the highway, and it hit another semi-truck, and it was carrying all the switches. And guess what? It split in half, and it exploded. There was fire everywhere, and switches all over the ground. Somebody came, and they stole them all. Boxes were damaged. It's all over the news. Give me my goddamn switch. All right, fine, fine, you want it. Here you go. Anyway, greetings and salutations, everyone. My name is Featherhoof, and I am here doing an unboxing of the Nintendo Switch, which just arrived at my house right now, and I am pumped as hell to just get, like, rip into this. I, I could have removed it from the box, but I wanted you guys to be here for the, all of it. All of it, hold on. So we're going to remove the Amazon tape. Screw you, Amazon tape. There we go. And, oh, oh, it's Christmas in March. There you go. <laughs> there we are. And there you have it, the Nintendo Switch. So we have it. the Nintendo Switch has arrived at my house after wanting it for so long. After being officially named, after it was you know, called Project NX. And, and that's not all I have, no. I also have Zelda. Ba -da -da -da. It's actually a very small box. It's like, it's very reminiscent of like the PSP boxes. And uh, it's nice, I mean, it's weird, weird and compact, but we'll get to this guy in a minute. We'll do, we'll do him last. We are going to start with the Nintendo Switch itself. So, as you can see, it's the box. Lots of uh, information there. Uh, some nice little pictures all the way around. Kind of a minimalist, minimalist back. You know, usually, uh, I've had consoles before, they have, like, all the, you know, contents of the box and, you know, pictures of games and stuff. But they decided to go a different route with this box. It's uh, it's very minimalist. Like it seems that the design for the Switch itself, like everything is very compact. I guess that goes with the concept of you know being able to take it everywhere. Everything's compact. It's very simplified. So we're gonna open this bad boy up, and first thing we have here is the Switch console itself and the Joy Cons. And to be perfectly honest. Every, every podcast I listen to, they always say, the first thing that, they, that comes out of my mouth is, oh my god, look how small it is. Oh my god, look how small it is. Like, because, you know, you, you play, you know, look on your TV shelf right now. Look at your Xbox, Xbox One. Look at your PS4. And then look at this. Look at this. This is the system. There's, there's not, a, you know, a separate thing. This isn't the Wii U gamepad. This is the system. So we're going to set this aside just for now, and we're going to put the new controllers, the Joy-Cons. Oh Holy crap. Look how small those things are. They'd be perfect for me. Look at <laughs> tiny little hands. Oh my god, these are the smallest thumbsticks I've ever seen in my life, and buttons. They are so small. I don't know if you, you know, I should probably take these out of the wrapper. You're probably getting glare off of the wrapper from the lighting. I'll hold it. We have the left Joy-Con and the right Joy-Con. These are very interesting. I, I've, I've been so excited to play with these. So excited. I mean, even my phone's excited. <laughs> I don't know if that, that picked up or not. So, this is how you're supposed to like hold it sideways. Like when you play multiplayer. It's so pretty. You got the like, L and R buttons on the top here. Should I zoom in for a close-up of those buttons and those little holes? That's what she said. God. And yep, we see. Oh, wait a minute. There's like little itty bitty pictures on those buttons. Are there? Yeah. Hey, SLSR, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Little uh, arrows on the sides. Okay. And of course, we break out the main console. Oh, 
Oh, new console. Oh, Don't yes. drop it. Shut up. <laughs> Don't drop it. And as soon as I can find the top, you slide it on. Good. It made oh. a clicking noise. It makes a nice, satisfying clicking noise so you know it's, it's on there. Click. And there it is. I'm the doing. Nintendo Switch. Oh, has the little stand, kickstand on the back. So just, oh. All right, I think that's up. Let's just set that right there as we go through the rest of the contents of the box. All right, uh, what, we have, what else we have in the box here is, um, what do we have? Uh, health and safety guidelines paper. We have, oh, Jesus, what are you? Ah, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this will be the docking station. This serves as the way you charge the switch and the controllers, the Joy-Cons, and also how to transfer the images to your big screen TV. Actually, now that we have that up, um, I don't know if you can see it inside. I don't know if that will show, but there's a nice little USB 3.0 connector in there. That's what the switch connects to. Kind of see it a little bit. And in the back here, let's see how you open it. Here's where all the connections can be found. We have ourselves an HDMI for out to the TV, a USB port, which in the future for me will be for the network adapter, and the AC adapter for power. Power. And charging. Uh, it's, it's really nice. It's got this really flat uh, matte finish. It's not, it's not really glossy, but it has the Nintendo Switch logo embossed on the front. Um, we have two USB, it looks like 2.0 uh, ports on the side. Actually, and actually, I don't know if you can see it, the USB port in the back is the USB 3.0. You can tell by the color. So I'm guessing all your cords go through that little area right there. Yep, that's, this is for wire routing. Yeah. And on the back, nice uh, embossed Nintendo logo. So actually, now that that's out, let's go ahead and kickstand away. To make a little clicking noise, you put it in there? I don't know. I don't know if this is even the right way to put it. There we go. In the center of the box, we have... Ah! This! These are the Joy-Con grips. So when you're... Playing, let's see how easy this comes out. There's a little button on the back of these. There we go. That's just, that just gets in there nice and tight. All right. So actually, I did read, you have to be careful with these because they can sort of go on... Uh, it's universal, so it can go on both ways. If you look real close, there's a negative a minus button here, or sign embossed on it. Can you get that? Uh, hold on. Uh, well, tried to. Kind of can see it a little bit. And then on this side is a plus sign. These match up to the whichever Joy-Con you have, so you have to line it up just right. So as you see, this has the minus. You line it up with the minus. If you, if you try to put it in the other way, you, you risk breaking your controller. So, it's a nice little healthy click. And now, you have a controller, a functioning controller. See, that's the right size for me. <laughs> might not be the right size for some people that have big hands, but that's about the right size so, for me. I don't, like, I don't want to go quiet, guys. Like, it's just, I want to sit here and, like, revel in it, but it's so, this is so weird. It is so cool. I just want to be sitting here going... Oh it's God. interesting how Nintendo actually gave you those little wrist straps after yep. the Wii when people have been throwing them at yes. their flat screen TVs. Like, oh, look, but I these, ruined my TV. Yeah, but these straps are a lot nicer than the Wii straps. These are so much nicer. Yeah. I, I'm digging this way more. So I think there's supposed to be two of these in here somewhere. Ah, and of course, for the other controller, the other Joy-Con. Go ahead and take that bad boy off again. You, you press the button in the back, and then you slide it right off. Go ahead and put that back in there. In the center hole, we have ah, I shouldn't have put that back on. We have the, the well, I'm going to call it the dumb Joy-Con grip. Why I call it that is because they decided to make two versions of these: the ones that ship with the unit, and the one you got to pay thirty dollars for. The one that ships with the unit. You just put your Joy-Cons in, you play, like so. You take it up, and slide that bad boy right on in there. 
I'll take this one out, slide it in, and you have what everyone's calling the sad puppy controller. It is a sad puppy controller. Because <laughs> it looks like a sad puppy to some people. With the floppy ears on the side and the sad puppy face. There's a $30 one for some reason they decided to make separately that actually has a charging port, a USB 3.0 on the top, you can charge the Joy-Cons. As it stands currently, the only way to charge the Joy-Cons is to have it on the Switch while it's docked. Well, that was one of my questions, is does that thing charge those Joy-Cons? And obviously it doesn't if you get yeah. it with the box set. Yeah, the $30 one is the one you want to get if you want to charge it. Every, every podcast I keep hearing, they keep saying, it's amazing how small everything is. It is. It is very small. And it's I don't for have, the little people. It's like, not for a big hand person. I mean, I don't have giant hands. I have. I, have, I, I think I don't have giant hands. Oh. Um, I mean, not not to bit you know over over the complaint, but the shoulder buttons are digital are digital, not an, or yeah not analog. What do you mean so, by that? Show them what you're um, talking about. It's just a single click. Like if you play the PS4 or the Xbox One. The, or even the Steam controller, the, the shoulder buttons, the triggers, depress in. It's very helpful for, for driving games, you know, when you want to build up speed or something like that. This is just click. So Ah, okay. That might be an issue. I don't know if the Pro Controller actually has analog ones or not, but I didn't get that because it was sold out faster than the Switch ones. On the right-hand side, we have the HDMI cable. I don't know which HDMI it is, but it's... 1.4 or 2 or what? Probably says on the box. No. No. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a decent decent length. Probably about uh, 3 4 feet there. Set you aside. And the power brick, which, surprisingly, I thought it was going to be bigger. Oh, you mean like the Xbox? Oh, God, yeah, <laughs> like a giant Xbox. Well, every every console seems to have you know, giant power bricks. This isn't this isn't too bad. It's but it's obviously going to have to go at the end of your you know your um, surge protector. Uh, if you have a six plug or more power strip, it's obviously going to go in the end because it's this does not move. It's stuck in in position, just like that. So. Uh, so that's that, and it looks like that's all the contents of the box. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this bad boy up. I'm going to let her charge, and I'll see you guys for the initial setup. Okay guys, so I wanted to do it, like record it the way I record video games, but apparently, as you can see, I don't know if you can or not, it wants me to pull it out of the stand, and so I have to do it on the screen, initial setup. So, we're going to pull it out, oh, and away it goes. That's a nice little ditty. Ah, uh, English. Oh, I love the little sound effects. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it gives this nice little, this little tick. I love this. Like, you know, do you agree? It's like, I don't have, a, I don't have an option. I have to agree. Uh oh, networks. I'll search for that later. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, we are in. Uh, probably the closest would be New York, Toronto. I'm not in New York. Uh, it's launch day. And there we go. Ah, would you like to connect to a TV and play on a larger screen? Yes, I would. Detach the joy controllers from the console. On it. There. Take that there. Let's see. Can you use the left stick to left stick on to select next? All right. And press A on the right controller. All right. You need to follow it. Got it. Over that. Done it. Done it. Okay. So we're going to plug this bad boy in, actually first, All right, and there we go. 
All right, and now we have it on the screen. So I've attached the Joy-Cons to the grip and let's continue on with setup. Set your icon and nickname. I will do such a thing. Uh, let's see. I will pick it. I mean, I'll go into it. I'm actually going to set a me. That's just sort of what I do. I love, I, I've always been a fan of the me's. But for now, seeing as uh, this is this is the new console, let's, let's go ahead and look at all the icons they have available. Uh, Pikmin's and Star Fox and yeah. Sometimes I wonder if they even have the right to keep using Samus's image, seeing as they stopped making Metroid games and no Federation Force didn't count. All right, uh, so I'm just going to pick Link. Just for now. Background. I'm a yellow guy myself. That's sort of bordering on orange there. So yellow. Oh, so we are. Feather. Ooh. Whoa. Feather you. Oh, I can't do Feather off? Oh, screw you guys. All right, let's go back to my standby. It's the one I use for all my Nintendo accounts. Just Uma. <laughs> that would be me. I will do that later. I'm sure Cindy will want one. Uh, parental controls. No, 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 we do not need parental controls. Oh, and setup is complete. And here is this. Remember, I was talking about minimalism. A lot of minimalism on this system. This is this is the title. This is the whole menu. This is the menu. Which now that we're here, let's go ahead and break out Zelda. Let's go ahead and put that in there. I forgot myself some scissors. Okay, and I got the plastic off. So, opening this bad boy up. Oh my god. Empty. There's nothing in here except for this tiny little cartridge at the bottom. These are the games. This is the. Oh my goodness. A lot of. Wasted empty space here, Nintendo. No instruction manual? Nothing? Really? Okay. This is the Switch con game con cartridge. Look at this. This is tiny. You're so tiny. You're so cute. You are. Okay. And there's a little game slot on the top, so I'm going to go ahead and open that. Oh, don't come out. <laughs> How do I... Let's see. It's probably this way. There we go. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. All right, let's 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 explore the menu. Okay, jump cut there because I just finished setting it up to my internet and uh, doing the day one update because every game and system has one now. Day one updates. So we're going to look through the system. Uh, we have news. Let's start with the news tab. New system version is available. Damn, if only I already knew that. <laughs> So, yep, this is the news page. We get uh, all our updates and, you know, things telling us uh, about the system. Micro SD card, yes, right. You can put a micro SD card in there, which I do not have. But it's okay, because I'm too poor to afford any games that needed to be downloaded <laughs> Downloaded anyway. Uh, there's the eShop. Uh, I wonder if I can even get on that now. I, mean, I am on the internet. Yes. Okay, got a link in the account. Inserting jump cut. Okay, and I linked my Nintendo account. Yay! Welcome to playing Switch Nintendo Switch Online. Sweet. What what is all this? What is it? Oh, that's right, because uh, they have their they now have a paid service like Xbox Live and Play PlayStation Plus, and it's free up until the fall, where they're gonna actually gonna charge you to charge you for it. So uh, I think that's what it was telling me about. Enter the password in your Nintendo account. Uh, okay. Guys, don't look. Close your eyes. Thank you. Thank you. That's very kind of you not to look. And this is our eShop. It's, again, going with the minimalist theme here. Uh, this is my... Oh, cool. They even have a wish list. And read down. Okay, I, that's kind of cool. We add funds. Oh, it's, they still keep the whole thing where you have to have funds on your account. So you have to, like... So you can't just buy things with your card. You gotta like, add funds and then do it that way. Uh, password entry settings. 
Uh, active console status. The console is active. Deactivate. What? You can only use your software and download content from the Nintendo's eShop on the active console for this Nintendo account. An inactive console cannot be used to purchase or play software from the eShop. Okay. Good to know. And here's our... Here's the stuff you can buy day one. Some of which I wish I had money for, but I does not. Like, I would buy, I'd be buying Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. Uh, I would definitely be buying Snipper Clips. Wavering on whether I want to buy I Am Setsuna, because it'd be cool to play it on the Switch, like on the go, wherever I want, instead of on the computer, like I've been playing it. And I have never finished it. I would like to go back and actually continue playing that. Coming soon? Uh, okay. Oh, yep. Yeah, I have Mario, that new Mario Kart on, uh, on pre-order. And enter codes. Ah, if you have any prepaid uh, cards. <laughs> All right, and that's the eShop. Let's see what else we got. Album. Uh, you can take pictures. Uh, this thing has it showing right there. There's a little button on the left Joy-Con. While you're playing, you press that. Takes a snapshot. Takes a snapshot. So that's kind of cool. I do like that they're entering the social media realm a little bit. Uh, showing the controllers. Oh, my left Joy-Con is about to die for some reason. That's beautiful. <laughs> So change grip order, pair new controllers, close. All right. System settings, here we go. Let's see, support, health, safety. Let's see. I have no error history, thank you very much. Airplane mode, can I reset? Well, oh, good for me. <laughs> Brightness, I'm sure these are all things I'll be able to see if I, like I said, if I had it in handheld mode. Uh, screen lock, lock the console so that the same button must be pressed three times to proceed. I'll leave that on for now. If I Again, if I had a child. Uh, internet settings, uh, I'm going to be blocking a lot of that out. <laughs> Data management it is important. I like to say that the system has 32 gigs of memory. Well, it only has 25.9 because the OS is just that big, apparently. Users, you can add users, skip selection screen. What? I don't know why you would do that, but here's here's... The, the me creator is no longer just like an app. You have to go into the systems menu to make one, which I'll do on my own time. Uh, amiibos, you want to register any amiibos. Themes, here we go. Change the system to white or black. I like black better. Like, cause when I'm playing it in handheld mode, I mean, the whole system's black, you know? So I want to keep that, keep it like that. Uh, notifications, sleep mode. Auto sleep playing on console screen. I can dig. Auto sleep when it's connected to the TV. Eh, I can again. I can dig those times. Suspend auto sleep while playing media content. This is interesting because there's no Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, none of that on the system yet. But they do have this. What media content are they talking about? Uh, I would turn that on because I'm listen if I'm watching media and it's just going and going and going. I don't want it to turn itself off. I'm watching something, damn it. Especially shows that are longer than ten minutes. Uh, controllers again. Turn that off. I hate, hate co controller vibration. I just do. Uh, it's all, it's in its grip right now, so I'm not going to ma mess with motion controls. TV settings. Yeah, leave it leave it at automatic. Because this isn't this isn't the TV I'll be having it on permanently. This is my monitor for recording purposes. So I'll leave this all on. And system. <laughs> Uma switch. Hell yeah. Language region. Okay, this is all the stuff I can... Uh... Oh, the console battery will display it on the home menu as a percentage as opposed to the little battery. Actually, I might want to turn that on just to see what it looks like. Mute when hit headphones are disconnected. Why would I want to do that? Oh, well. Uh, I'll, I'll, again, I'll mess with all this later. Ah, there we go. 60%. Jesus, they didn't give this thing much power when they sent it out. So, and then sleep mode, which I'm afraid will screw up the capture if I press it, but let's see what happens. Console will enter sleep mode, press that one. Okay, yeah, I'll play, you know, that's sleep mode. You just put in sleep mode, you press the home button, which is on the right Joy-Con right there, and it wakes it up. So, oh, I have my own little page. I do. Friends list, user settings. All right, so that is that. I think there's my friend code. If you'd like to send a friend request, I'll just leave that right on the screen for you. Offline, I am not. 
If this user is not selected in game, he or she will be displayed as offline even if you are connected to the internet. Oh, that's if I'm, okay, so I'm not currently connected to a game. So that is the unboxing and setup and tour of the Nintendo Switch. The only thing left is to click that Zelda icon, which I'm gonna do, I, I think I might do a short series on the game. I'm not gonna do a full Let's Play, but I might do something on Breath of the Wild. Keep an eye on the channel. But for now, I'm gonna end this unboxing here. Guys, it's a brand new day. It's a brand new year for Nintendo. They're starting again with a new system. It has its flaws, as everyone who's been reading on the line, it does seem to have its flaws, but I hope Nintendo does their best to iterate on the system, send through patches, um, even make new hardware if necessary to fix those problems. But for now, this is what it is, and I'm excited to play it. I'm excited to play Zelda. Uh, can't wait to play the, the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Can't wait to play Mario Odyssey. I can't wait, hopefully, hoping for a new a Metroid, seeing as they skipped it on the Wii U. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I cannot wait for that. So, Nintendo Switch is here. I've been so excited about it. I'm now almost, I'm actually $400 poorer now because of it, but I'm happy I have it. Can't wait to play more. And with that, I'm ending this here. If you enjoyed this uh, unboxing, you'd like to see me do more of this kind of stuff, let me know with a like, comment, subscribe, share it, or you can click on the annotations for other videos I've done. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.